going on everybody i just came out here real quick to, to ask you guys a, a simple question but it might make you think just a little bit and i want your opinion on this is joy reed the next alex jones and you might be thinking i'm crazy or whatever but she literally put out a video saying that she doesn't even know if trump trump was hit by a bullet could have been anything we don't we don't have proof that there was a bullet we don't we don't have proof who, who knows what happened so isn't she being a denier like calling this whole thing a hoax? Isn't she doing the same thing, essentially, that Alex Jones did with the whole Sandy Hook shit? So shouldn't she be held liable for millions or billions of dollars to be paid out to the family of the victims? Because, you know, she doesn't even know. She doesn't. It could have been shrapnel. could have been anything. I don't know. Isn't she doing the same shit, basically? But she's going to get off scot-free because she's on the left and a member of the media that people, you know, follow or whatever because she's part of that big traditional media conglomerate. But it's doing the same thing. It has the same effect. She's denying something happened without proof. Look at the clip. Watch her be an idiot and explain if you think she should be held criminally liable or uh, liable in a court like Alex Jones was. Had to pay out a whole shitload of money to victims' families and shit because... He denied that something happened. Now she's doing the same thing. Let me know your opinion in the comments below. We still don't know for sure whether Donald Trump was hit by a bullet, whether he was hit by glass fragments, whether he was hit by shrapnel. We don't have those details. We actually have no details from his physician, even though this man is still a Secret Service protected, you know, and pres presidential candidate. We knew almost nothing. Why? Why don't we know that much? We know that three people were shot. One person, unfortunately, was killed at the rally. We don't know where they were sitting or standing relative to him. We don't know why, for nine full seconds, Donald Trump was allowed to stand back up during an active shooting, an active shooter situation, even though they at that point had said the shooter the shooter was down how would have they know how would they, would they have known if there were more shooters or not nobody knew that there could have been five shooters for all they knew yet they allowed him to stand up in the middle of that you know crisis and pose for a photo and fist pump the air so he could get the iconic photo and then they allowed him to stand up again outside of the SUV instead of just shoving him into the SUV. That seems really unusual. What is the actual injury to Donald Trump's ear that's under that bandage? Shouldn't we know that by now? It's weird. And there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of curiosity about it. <laughs> you know, in the sort of media world, you know, my profession. It's weird, right? Where are the FOIAs? Why isn't the New York Times like aggressively pursuing his medical records it's just weird just just a strange thing just a strange thing that i've noticed and i don't know if you guys have noticed it too but it's weird